For the very first time, we're hearing from Pennsylvania's new Secretary of Health as the state works to bolster its supply of the COVID-19 vaccine. Yeah, David, for nearly a week, Channel 11 has asked for repeatedly if the state had concerns about expanding Phase 1A of the vaccine rollout without having the necessary supply, and today we finally got an answer. That's a good question, but no, we, we didn't uh, uh, think about that. We, we wanted to make sure that, that we were getting people, and we still, the, the idea is to get people in line uh, uh, in terms of, of the need. In the last few hours, the Biden administration said it will boost the state's vaccine allocation for next week by about 17 percent. Pennsylvania, though, needs 8 million doses to vaccinate the 4 million Pennsylvanians now in phase 1A. But so far, David, Pennsylvania has only received about one and a half million doses. And Lisa, that puts Pennsylvania among the top 10 states in terms of the number of doses received, but only about 50% of those vaccines have actually found their way into people's arms, putting Pennsylvania in the bottom 10. So 11 Investigates' Aaron Martin is asking, what is taking so long? The demand for the COVID-19 vaccine far outweighs the supply, with the state only getting around 140,000 doses this week from the federal government. Despite that, the state decided to move forward with its major expansion of Phase 1A, a decision we were able to question Governor Wolf about for the first time today. Howard Moser has a familiar story, waiting hours on hold trying to get a COVID-19 vaccine. But unlike thousands of others still searching, a Facebook post connected him to an appointment next week at Allegheny County's vaccination clinic in Monroeville. A dear friend um, saw my post and she was contacted um, by luck uh, from someone else and let, gave me uh, a website link. Uh, to try to register. With the addition of seniors and severe medical conditions to phase 1A, 4 million Pennsylvanians now qualify for the vaccine. But the state is still receiving less than 150,000 doses per week from the federal government. Was there any thought that the state should wait to expand until they actually had more supply as opposed to assuming that could come? That, that's a good question, but no, we, we didn't. Uh, uh, think about that. We, we wanted to make sure that, that we were getting people, and we still, the, the idea is to get people in line. According to nationwide data compiled by Bloomberg.com on the vaccine's rollout, Pennsylvania has received more than 1.5 million doses, the fifth most of any state. However, the Commonwealth has only administered a little more than 50% of those doses, ranking 43rd among states. The State Department of Health contends there's a lag in the data, but Governor Wolf didn't give any additional details as to why more of the state's vaccines aren't being administered. And our goal remains that whatever we get, we get it out as quickly as we can. And we know that we can do a better job of doing this, but, but we are doing everything we can to make sure our systems and what part of this process we control, we do as well as we possibly can. But Senator Lindsey Williams believes state leaders bear responsibility when it comes to clearly communicating supply issues and how long people may have to wait. All these people are working very hard, but it's it's not working. So we have to change and connect to where people and meet them where they are. Now, West Virginia actually ranks in the top five nationwide when it comes to administering the vaccine with 85 percent of its doses already in arms. The state also announced earlier this week that they will be starting a pre-registration process for everyone in West Virginia to get in line for the vaccine. We asked the state health secretary about that a little bit earlier today. She said there are no plans for that right now in Pennsylvania. Reporting tonight in Summer Hill, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.